live on Nitty TV. I got Marlon Joseph in here today, y'all. What's happening? We got a good one today, man. What's going on, everybody? About to give y'all these bad rules prison story. Let them know who you is. Yeah, my name is Marlon Joseph. I'm originally from New Rose, born and raised out there in a small town, country town. Known on the map, but moved to Baton Rouge where things got bigger and bright, better and brighter. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> So, man, we're going to get straight to it, man. So, it ain't no parish jail, no county jail, or nothing in Baton Rouge. It's just, it's just a straight Baton Rouge prison. Yeah, yeah. You don't get the opportunity to have a um, jail out here. You got a straight prison out here. And it's a big difference if anybody know anything about the system. Jail is one thing. Prison is another thing. Especially East Baton Rouge Parish Prison. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> What's the number one rule in Baton Rouge Prison? The number one rule? Stay in your own lane. Mind your own business. But the number one rule is be yourself. And that, that counts for a lot because you pretending to be somebody else, people kind of pick up on that shit and they see something you call fake. You know, being fake is a stick out. Yeah, it, what's fake? Me, being fake is a real stick out. Oh, fake. Yeah, oh, fake. Okay. Yeah, being oh, fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they pick up on that type of shit out there. You know, like, I remember, bro, when I first went to that. And then my first time going to Central Booking, it was a, a big eye opener for me. It wasn't like no any other Central Booking. You know, they call it Central Booking. So it, it's two big old cages on the left side and the right side. Okay. And, and when I tell you that, it, it, it's, it's different. It's a big difference. Right. And then they got five cells in the front. Too. And, 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 you know, a jail don't have that type of shit. <laughs> you know, to me, a jail didn't have that. Right. But this prison had a different setting to me. And um, I, I, I can remember... The deputy sitting in the, in, the, in the cage, in the middle of the cage. He by himself. Everybody else surrounded by a bunch of other people. He got 150 people in this one here, 150 people in this tank. Everybody tighten up. You know, everybody tighten up. And, and being fake is, to that, it's coming to being fake, is when somebody asks you what's happening, you use words you ain't never fucking used before. Like, what's happening with you, Walter? You know, I ain't used that shit before. Right. So that was being fake. And it, it stuck out because the way I said it, what's happening with you, Walter? Right. But being fake, yeah, it counts. You got to be yourself in that bitch, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he called, yeah, they could, they, they could tell, they could tell, that, you know, yeah. shit authentic or nothing. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and being in Baton Rouge, it's a big difference because it's almost like, it's big, but when you go inside of that place like that, you'd be surprised who know each other, bro. Right. Right. <laughs> you'd be surprised. You know they got a lot of blood cousins and shit. And you and, and you not from Baton Rouge. No, so no. That's, so that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That made it it made it different because I didn't know how to act. Right. You know. Yeah, at, yeah it's different. Like if you go to jail in the city, you from you nine times out of ten, you gonna know a lot of people in there or something. To be right. I didn't know how to pretend like I know John, <laughs> like I know Scooby Doo or somebody like that. Nah, they didn't know me. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was real. Man, tell tell me about the Q building. Oh man, the Q building had me fucking fool. You know, the Q building, it, it really had me fool because the setting of the old prison was like. They call it the dungeon, matter of fact. Okay. And, I, and for the love of God, I realized why they call it the dungeon. But I'm going to get back to that. But the, the Q building had me fooled because everything changed on they setting. You know, I seen the bricks on the floor, on the walkway. That shit changed. It was new. You know what I'm saying? The gates was painted. You know, it had me thought I was going to somewhere so, special. So it was looking pretty. Yeah, that bitch was looking like gold. You ever been to heaven? Me neither. But it almost looked like that. Uh, but... The doors were shining, the people greeted you well, you know what I'm saying? You know, they took out the shackles, man, help you take out the shackles, they greet you in good ways. But what set it off in the Q building, I say when I went to the, the key to get my badge to go inside the Q, in the Q building. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and that did it for me. And, and I think about it when they opened up them gates, and that bitch had Q7 and 8 on that bitch. It had 8 on one side and 7 on the other side. My papers had 7, go to 7. And, um... I opened up the gate. I mean, they opened up the gate. The gates racked back. Ding, ding, ding. They racked back. And then down that hall, they had another till down there. And they had gates on there. So shit was getting kind of scary to me because I'm like, hold up. Right. The guard's way over here. I'm right here. It's going to take them a while to get to me to save yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? And that shit started going in my head. So what, when you walk there, they let you walk back? Right there, right? Yeah, they don't. They don't. No, they, no, they don't come in that bitch and say, oh, hi, this is Marlon Joseph. We bring it out here. Meet them. No, they send you down that bitch to them. And when I tell you, man, them bitches like lion tigers and bears. Them bitches like lion tigers and bears. I seen some shit in there, bro. When I got the chance to put my mattress on Q78, everybody looking. I ain't never paid attention. Everybody in their... BCs, these tennis shoes they call yeah. them, like Chucks. Yeah. 
Yeah. And they got, you know, cut off shorts, orange pants. They got people with band-aids on their head and shit like that. You know, on my mind, I'm just going to call my girl and let her know I'm in a better spot. I thought I was. Yeah. So after I put my mattress up and shit, I come back out there, I see the phones. Well, fuck, here the shit started. I ain't knew that with the phones hang upside down, it mean the same thing as the phone hanging off the fucking thing. I didn't know that shit. And I learned a lesson from them. Do not never fucking touch them phones if they're hanging upside down or if they're hanging to the ground. Never touch that. So when the phones on the wall, they hanging down, that mean don't touch it. That mean, and guess who say don't touch it? A fucking inmate, not the fucking guards. Damn. Yeah, yeah, it's the inmates, man. See, back then, the, the inmates really did run the prison back yeah. then. On the slick, yeah, they had the guards come get shit in tank, but not in this bitch here. In the parent prison, bro, every soldier for themselves. <laughs> So you don't know you're not supposed to tell Fuck you. Fuck no, I ain't know that shit, man. See, they didn't give me that in the rule books when they walked through Central Booking. They didn't say, man, if this is right, this is right, this. They didn't tell me that shit. They, so they, they did you touch the phone? Yeah, I touched the phone. When I touched the phone, I my, there you go. We got one. I'm looking at the motherfucker. What the fuck you mean you got one? They said they got one. They said you can go out and use the water and just hang up when you finish. I'm like, what the fuck? So after I made the call, I was on the phone talking. And out of nowhere, nigga, hmm. bam. Niggas struck me while I was on the phone. Real yeah. shit based on true stuff. Why you on the phone? While I'm on the phone, while the guard over there in the, in the fucking keys looking at me and shit like that. Um, they flashed their lights. But I thought they was flashing the lights to come in and bitch and save me. They flashed the light for the that's having to hang up the fucking phone. Yeah, real shit. Damn. So dude hit me and they got me in the middle of the thing. I'm looking at the man. Like, ain't nobody gonna help me up off the fucking floor. Right. Uh-uh, I, I ain't do that shit there. Man, this is when I say it's real, because the deputy see shit goes on. And, and people don't realize how, how important your life is and how hard it is to survive. And not just with the inmates, but the, yeah. the, the deputy see the shit goes on. It's like they don't give a fuck. Yeah. They'll come in like they do at schools and shit when the fight over with to come in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. By then, you're not much ass whooping out of cop. So the deputy seen you get, yeah. he seen them drop you, and they never came in. The man, man, them bitches, they come in until the after everything was over with. And then they came in to get him. They ain't come in to get me off the motherfucking line. I'm the one needed to be moved, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. I couldn't taste face that shit like that. No more, man. That shit embarrassing. Yeah. But I had to survive and live. Yeah, I mean, you got to do what you do. Yeah, like and people don't realize it's completely different than that it is out here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's a whole nother world, man. You don't get the privilege of carrying that eye on the inside of that bitch. You know, they say they got killers out here. They got real killers in there. And I'd have seen them. I'd have talked to them. Yeah. You know, Derek Ty Lee? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, man, that, that, I'm real shit. I'm in a cell with this motherfucker. A two man yeah. cell. No shit? Real shit. Two man cell. Two man cell. Man, we had to go to court one morning. And I ain't never knew who the fuck the dude was, but I ain't never knew why the cameras and shit, all that was in the court so and shit. you was already locked up when yeah, all this stuff was going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, man. You didn't know what, yeah, what was going on. Fuck no, man. Was, you know, I'm in there talking to a motherfucking dude. He a fucking serial killer, and they got me in this motherfucker. Yeah. And why I say I ain't no murderer, I ain't no killer. You know, I feel like they should separate some of these people. None violence against violence. Right. But not in that bitch there. Man, they send hits in there. <laughs> yeah. Damn, man. Uh, this prison really like, it's a name they call it. They call it Baby Angola for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you know anything about Angola prison, you'll know how real it is. Right. Hey, bro, you got to look at a person that ain't never shot a gun or pointed a pistol at nobody <laughs> to walk in there with those type of people. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, it, what makes it scary because you never know if you'll wake up the next day. Yeah. Man, I'd have seen, I've been on the Christian line. In my mind, I'm thinking I'm safe. Yeah. Because it's a Christian, yeah, it's a Christian line. line. But ain't nothing but the devil on that motherfucking line, bro. Damn. Ain't nothing but the devil. I seen a young dude come in there the first time. In my mind, he's he trying to get in a safe spot. I'm on my side of the mattress. I'm doing my shit, paying attention. You know, I'm looking at the preacher, who, who the, the dawn, the dawn rep over the dawn. Yeah. Slick side getting. Damn. Yeah. Come nightfall. Curtain is on the bed hanging down. Hearing motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, playing and shit, but you also hearing motherfuckers get humped on, screwing on, talking about stop, stop. Oh, yeah, it get real, it get real, it get real. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't safe. It ain't safe. For the love of God, I couldn't understand why they commit so many crimes and what's going on inside of there. Yeah. Ain't nothing but balls and slangs in that dick. And if you, what you gonna see if yours bigger than his? That's all it is. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, it really is. It'll take you away. 
And I never thought in a million years that I would be in a place like that, bro. You know, it, it takes away from your life being in East Baton Rouge Parish Prison. <laughs> it takes away from your life. Damn. And that bitch is big. Yeah, and, and it's big. See, that, see, like we was talking about the new prison. See, the old prison is completely scary. Oh, so 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 it's the old one and the new one. Yeah, the old one is scary. See the see the new one. They got guards. You know what I'm saying? And that old one, they throw you away. I they they put me on a wing called A4. Okay. And bro, you know they get them sacks and you they give you the sacks with the sheets and shit like that to go in there. Yeah, yeah, the little netted uh, sack. Yeah, you got your toothbrush and your toothpaste and your shit like that. They give me that. And um. They walked me down the tier, and they had no lights down this tier. And this tier here really separate the jail. You know what I'm saying? It really separate, because you can't see nothing. It's a door to your ship, bam. So when you're saying no lights, it's dark. Dark, dark. You don't know if you're on A, B, or C, or D. You don't know what they're telling you, and they say A4. And so the guard get on, he racked the gate, he say, tell um, open the gates to A4. So open the gates to A4. And um, I'm thinking he racking the gates, like I said for the media to walk through that, but it's really racking the gates for everybody to come see you yeah. and see who you is, or slick side shit. So I got my mattress, so the dudes tell me, come on in, thug. So I go in that bitch, you know, I got to ask the dude about my bed, that, you know what I'm saying, do I got to sleep on top? I got to ask the dude, can he move his shit off my bed so I can get comfortable in that right. shit? But I ain't, so you know. So when he at the bottom, bro, you was, you're at the top. Right, and what I'm telling you, bro, to ask a big dude about your size, some shit like that, <laughs> you're not knowing what the answer you're going to get, <laughs> you know? Right. And, and you know, I, the answer I got was this nigga and just stood there and looked at me like I'm fucking crazy. So, no, I'm, you know, I just left my mattress right there and I went to the day room. You know, I didn't know they called a day room a day room. You know, so the day room is where the TV and shit at. You know, the phones and the games and shit like that. And I, I said, man, it kind of look all right. But being locked away from where nobody could see you get your ass whooped, yeah. that's ain't all right. Yeah. Say people think you check off the line, just be checking off the line. Man, I check off the line to survive. <laughs> right. Man, you know how many ass whoopers I got? God damn. Yeah. Man. Hey, bro, I, I ain't never say I didn't know how to fight, and I ain't never say I was scared. I ain't say no pussy. But I jumped off the porch at the 18, 19 years old. My mama killed me. I ain't do all that shit, man, though. I, I feel you keeping the records. A lot of people come tell these prison stories and lying about all this and doing this shit. You can't yeah, yeah, I, I couldn't do that shit. So fighting wasn't my thing. I always was able to talk my way out of shit. Right. But now you gotta have zoos to buy your way out of shit. Now, now, now let me ask you, how long how long you was in there? Man, I stayed that bitch like about seven years. That's all about, the problem. But how many altercations you think you had since you was in there? How many altercations? Fights and Man, I said, you got jumped. One, my, my, my first year on the probation hold, first year on that bitch, I think I got in a fight every two days, bro. Damn. Real shit. The first year? Yeah, yeah. Man, I used to call my girl. Real shit, bro. Yeah, that and, add up to a hundred and something, fuck, man. Ass whoopers. Yeah. Ain't none of them I never won. Damn. Hey, bro, I used to call my girl home and I ain't lying. Tell her, well, baby, well, call well, the person well, and ask well, to check me off the line. See, can you get me off this line? You know what I'm saying? I used to do that shit because. I couldn't look motherfuckers in the face. And you know, I used to hear stories about, yeah. man, you pussy and shit like that. They'll try to fuck you and all you shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, thank God, I ain't, I ain't never witnessed this shit. It's funny now, bro, but you can see this no, shit no, really no, happening. No, but hold up, you, you said yeah. every other day for. Yeah. So. Man, the deputies knew me, man. Over a hundred times. Yeah, 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 more than that, probably. God. Hey, the brothers, deputies, used, when they used to come to the gate, they already knew who it was at the gate. Wait. Yeah, real right, shit. Damn. See the famous words back then was, deputy, deputy, yeah. I can't live. I can't live down that motherfucker. It ain't my fault. I you know? mean, it's funny <laughs> now, but I, I mean, I know in there was a whole different, you know, ball game, some serious shit. Man. Out of all those hundred times, you say you, you, you got you got your ass whipped. What was the worst one you would see? How, and how that one went down? Man, this is what happened was, I was sitting at the table playing bull rape. Okay. And we were playing boo rape. And um, I boo. And if you know anything about boo, you mean you got to pay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. For devils and shit like that. Yeah. So I boo the shit like that. I ain't have the money of the zoos on my sack. Okay. So I'm telling the dude, I'm going to pay you off later. Yeah. So went to the child hall, came back from the child hall. First, the dude took my chicken off my plate while we were sitting there eating the child. You know what I'm saying? He took my chicken. He said, that's, that's one payment. 
He took my chicken, the bird, man. Bird, they come on Wednesday. That's so you eating, you sitting out eating, you yeah. fuck up till you took your yeah, shit. Yeah, nigga just sat there and ate my shit in front of me. And I ain't about to argue with him because, you know, yeah. I know I own. Yeah, yeah. But it's the when I got back on the till, motherfuckers holler red car. And I ain't never knew what red car meant because that's my first time in this bitch. And I'm not used to this shit from where the fuck I'm from. And I tell you that. I thought motherfuckers see a wreck outside the window, so I'm asking motherfuckers about, you know, wreck. Yeah. Nigga throwing shoes at me, talking about, try these bitches on, they like, try these bitches on. You know, yeah. I'm like, I don't want to put on these fucking shoes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what they mean. Yeah. I learned what the shit, when you put on shoes, that means you got to yeah, strap. Yeah, so, I got to pay this nigga shit back, but at the same time, I, I know he wanted right now. So, it ain't my top, you know what I'm saying? Nigga pump me out, put me in the circle. Bing, 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 bam, bam, bam. Nigga whooped my ass so bad, I called home my old lady who was cheating on me to tell her I apologize to her. God Real damn. shit. I seen a better future. That ass whooping that had me in the infirmary. I went to an infirmary because I think my mouth, it got fucked up. And I ain't never tell, tell nobody in the streets about this shit. Right. Because certain shit you don't want motherfuckers to know. Right, right. But I got my ass whooped real bad at that time. Man. And, and what's scary, if you stand on that same till, you gotta go through that shit every day with that same right. motherfucker. Right. Yeah. Either you gonna beat his ass, or he gonna continue to beat your ass. Right. And some niggas ain't, you know, about the other funny shit, but niggas just do that shit to make a statement and prove right. a point. And he was proving it on the wrong, man, because I ain't mean nobody no harm. You know what I'm saying? So, so you ain't say to yourself one day, man, I'm gonna sneak me a nigga in here, set me in Yeah, I did call myself one time doing that. I came, went to court, and I thought it was gonna release me. Mm -hmm. Just so happened, went to court, came back to the prison, and it shot me back. So I built my nuts up, you know what I'm saying, and my motherfucking mind went in the fucking day room one time. Okay. And I unplugged the TV. And I hollered, let's get it up there. Yeah. And my stupid ass not knowing, let's get it up there, I mean, you got to point out the nigga who you want to fight. And you know, obviously a nigga like me, I'm going to pick out a small nigga. Yeah. Man, that little nigga whoop my ass, man. Man, the way them niggas dance and fight in the chair, it's different. <laughs> and I'm just saying... It, you got to make real the decisions and choices you're making that bitch because somehow you get your ass whooped real bad, bro. Right. So, but I thought I built my nuts up to do that shit, but it was trying to prove a point. Not to them, but to me. Right. <laughs> and it fucking let me down again. But yeah, you know, bro. Yeah. I, so you called a nigga out of there and, yeah. and he still didn't know. Shit, you. yeah. Say, bro, I was moving around so much in the prison. I filled out a um, request form for trustee. Uh -huh. And it just so happened I just knew trustee was the shit. You know, I used to see them come down the hall, laundry, laundry, laundry. I said, man, I want to be on trustee. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been everywhere in this bitch but trustee. Right. Man, I got the opportunity to go on trustee. Them niggas worse than the motherfuckers in, in the regular fucking camps. You yeah. know? Real shit, bro. I don't think about them. They got tobacco. They, they got the smokes. They got the, you know, they got everything. They got the food. You know what I'm talking about? Seem like, seem like the trustee should be laid back. Yeah, it should have been laid back. But ask my girl how many times I've been, we've been on lockdown for visitation could come out because of motherfuckers doing scheme in the sky and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, the rules that apply to the streets, you could throw all that shit away once you walk through them doors. Right. Yeah. The vision of the person and the man you thought you was on the street, you could throw that shit away when you walk in that bitch. God, you know? But the upsells. If, if if you learn something from that bitch, yeah. you won't never ever go back to that yeah, bitch. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. and I and I I've been through it, bro. Yeah, you ain't gonna never want to go back. Right. Now, what's 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 something you seen in there that made you say, man, look, I don't never want to come back again. Um, I remember a dude came on end wing, and um, what had happened was the dude molested a, a little girl on the street. Okay. And so um, the dude was in Central Booker for a long time. But just so happened they bought him on N2. And when I said they bought him on N2, what had happened was the guards came back there and they told the dudes who was on and locked up, and they told them what type of dude was coming down that bitch. Mm -hmm. And bro, based on true story of real life. They gave him his up. Yeah, and I, I promise you, this, this is real shit. Say, bro, they used to have a dude just to be out there just sweeping on the halls. Okay. On the hot tip. And he had his broom and his mouth. Real shit. Broom and his mouth. Say, I seen a dude come down the gate and go all the way to the end of the hall where the shower was at and then he made a love to his bed. Two main cells, top and bottom. That's what it wasn't like the other ones. Yeah. Two main cells. And if they know about two main cells, they're, they're scary if you're in, a, in that bitch with the wrong person. Right. Because they lock at night. 
You know what I'm saying? So the dude came down and, bruh, and he, I heard him, on, you know, I'm phoning the shit, putting the shit up. Man, I heard dudes like dancing. You know what I'm saying? All you heard is yeah. I'm hearing him being beat, beat, beat. I'm seeing a dude running down there coming with a mop hand, mop stick, with the mop head on and everything. Man, when I looked at his head, um, the, the, the gate started racking and the people started coming to guards, throwing everybody in, in the things. So it just so happened, Say they was kind of cold, too, cold, something, something cold. Yeah. Man, they had the people paramedics from the thing came in there and came, got the dude, dude had the, the mop handle in his ass. Damn. I swear to God, based on the truth, I saw that shit with my own two eyes, bro. Damn. Man, and for the love of God, I said this was should have been enough for me from seeing that shit there. Yeah. Man, and, and as they wheel them out there, man, them bitches coming in, they take our mattress, they took our mattress, took our sheets, left us just with our um, boxes on, boxes and white t-shirts yeah. and slippers. We sleeping on iron for like about two months. Real shit, I ain't had nothing to do with it. I ain't want to put me, I, ain't, I ain't had nothing to do with it. But you know how it is, one for all, all for one, and that bitch there, ain't no, ain't no snitches in there. <laughs> they all on the street. <laughs> put a mop stick in that boy. They did, they did him like they did. Uh, say, Pradama. if you would have saw what I saw then, bro, and I don't try to say that and make no stirs or nothing, but this shit actually really happened, bro. No, I believe you. I, I didn't hear about the mopping the uh, bad story. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, when I say guards don't give a fuck, they really turn their heads on some shit. Damn. Yeah. And they do the, they just as worse as everybody else. They human though, you know? But yeah, I just, I, just, I just saw that type of shit. What's the worst fight you've seen in there that you wasn't involved in? Um, they got this dude named Big Foots. He from South Baton Rouge. Okay. I seen him go ahead with a dude. First, it was like a red car. It was number of big dudes, Bigfoot, Jam, T Baby, and a bunch of other dudes. Hey, bro, I done seen this dudes fight so much, like jump on a dude, to like his eye hang out. Damn. To his eye hang out. To like his nose look like it's moved to a whole nother completely fucking side. Like it's, you know it belong here, but it's right here. Damn. I done seen dudes ain't get up to go eat lunch to got ass whooping so bad. You know what I'm saying? Because the dude told him you can't come out and eat. Because if you go out and eat and they see you like that, we go on lockdown. I just seen dudes bring motherfuckers food just to eat on, nick on. So you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Yeah. Ass whooping shit. Man, man, say, I just seen Shanks. Yeah. Shanks. Man, you with the love of God knowing a motherfucking one with something this big in the fucking <laughs> What the fuck you want? <laughs> hey, bro, and show up. And then from the small ones to the big ones. I done seen motherfuckers cut up. I, I done seen it. Man, and it was a thing, bro, that I'll be able to be out here today. A lot of times I ain't thought yeah, I'd be out here, bro. Yeah, real tough. Because, you know, you seen that shit. You know how you like being a witness, and sometimes witnesses gotta disappear. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not knowing if you gonna add that on. Yeah. It's about association. Man, and to the point, bro, I got to the point where I'm checking out blind. Motherfuckers start checking out, checking me out for them. You know what I'm saying? I used to get um Seroquel and pills at one time. So lady, I didn't know the pill call lady wasn't coming. So I already got the zoos from the nigga. I already know I ate the zoos and everything. Yeah. So he on the other side. Of, he, I'm on eight four. He on eight, eight two, eight three. You heard him across the hall from. Yeah. So he couldn't touch me or nothing like that there. So one morning I woke up, bro, real shit. I woke up one morning, medic call out. And I know I ain't feel like no fucking medic call out because I don't want the bitch to take my money. You heard yeah. me? I'm like, ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm in perfectly good health. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've been there a couple of months. You ain't checking on me or nothing like that. Man, I go to that bitch there, bro. And I'm in line with the dude who I owe. And he telling me he, he filled out a request for me to give me the thing. Yeah. And I'm trying to let the deputy know this shit ain't right. <laughs> so as we walking in the fucking line going in this fucking tank, because yeah. it closed off. Okay. They could see in, but they ain't fucking looking in. Yeah. Because there's a lot of motherfuckers on Medi Call out. Right. Man, dude after thing, and they're checking us in. So when they got time for me to check in, the dude was behind me. Real shit, he was behind me. I'm like, fucking, I ain't got but one chance to let these people know that I gotta get the fuck out of here, what's going on? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, definitely, I need to talk to you. <laughs> Bitch, get your bitch ass back in line. No, I can't go in there. I'm not sick. I'm about to tell you something right now. Can I talk to you? Dude tried to push me from the back. 
And he tipping me and scamming me. But I can't go in this motherfucker because I don't know what the outcome is. Yeah. The fucking death is still trying to put my ass in there. So as they put me in there, they shut that thing. When they shut that bitch there, they got two, two years to the back. And a boy went got a bunch of toilet paper. And he got the toilet paper to cover up the fucking window. Why I whooping my ass in that bitch? Damn. Real shit, niggas told it. Niggas in circles. To keep you from getting out, they push you back. Cause. Real shit. So they told the people to win so nobody can Yeah, see. yeah. Like I say, brother, bitch is dirty. And people think it's a game. It really is real. Yeah, it, it is real, bro. I don't give a fuck how you want to do it. You're not going to go in that bitch and just do your time and come home. It's impossible. Was there any time in there felt like a safe haven for you? Like it was, okay, I'm, I'm uh, did you ever get comfortable? Like, okay, I need me to do my time. I'm comfortable now, mama. The only time I got comfortable, the only time I got comfortable is when I left that bitch. <laughs> Real shit. When I, when, when, it, when I left it and it summoned to another prison, to Cal Calahoula. Okay. About for Quincy. And to the Quincy? Down Calahoula, Calahoula. Oh, okay. Man, I've been all through them bitches though. But when they, when they, when they ship, you know, you ain't got no options on where you want to go. They just yeah, they put you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't ship. tell me you want to go to Marydale and none of that shit. But they ship me to Calahoula. And, you know, I was in a ho and was in a cell. And I was in that cell actually by my motherfucking cell. And that was the only time I found peace to right. sleep. Right. Man, I done went to sleep many times in that bitch and woke up with toilet paper wrapped around my fucking legs. Hey, <laughs> man, toilet paper wrapped around your legs, they put the toilet paper right there, and they like that bitch. And they sit there and watch and see how long you're fine. Yeah. yeah, real shit. What would they do that for? Josen, that's what they call it. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Josen off the new one. You know, I done seen that shit. Man, I done seen, like, you watch movies. Like when Master P bought it and shit, and you see motherfuckers um, beating you with soap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's real. Socks. Yeah, I heard about the yeah, socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, that, that, that shit's real. The lock in the socks. Yeah. You know? yeah, I used to. Man, look. At one time, it was peace in that bitch when they had cigarettes. But see, when yeah, they took yeah, yeah, the, the, the cigarettes away, everybody got problems. Oh, everybody nerve bad. Uh, yeah. Cigarettes gone. And then, bro, when you, if you had a cigarette back then and you wasn't a man like you thought you was a man, like you thought you were a man, they getting that out to you. They take you Yeah, yeah, bro. But I'm not saying it, it take your man away. He would, your t it's like some people just look like they mark. Like, right. you know, be marked. But some people just already be in them. But... I don't understand how the real motherfuckers niggas come in that bitch. Right. And won't fuck a man. Yeah, that's that's. And you know what I'm saying? That, that, that was my next question. Now, now tell me about the booty bag that's in there. It's different because it's like you're a man on the streets. You got a, you know, I've seen dudes personally. You, you got men. You're a man on the streets. Yeah. You got a woman and a fan on there, but you get locked up and come in this bitch to be a bitch. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? They won't fuck. And however you want to look at it, bro. Gay is fucking gay. And I ain't saying nothing to be bad about it. But if man ain't fucking a man, he gay. Man ain't got to be digging the man. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. But I done seen the realest motherfuckers in there come in that bitch and just won't fuck a man. Damn. So, you, you like, as for the booty bag, you, you seen more guys come in there willingly to do it or you seen more guys get raped? You got, I, I, I done seen both. Like, a lot of them come in there and they be talked out their ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not knowing what they doing. You know, right. not knowing you open up the doors. So, you know, back in the days, you know, when your pants hanging off your ass, that mean you invite a motherfucker to your ass to be fucked. When you sag it. Yeah. Okay. See, they, today they don't know that. You know what I'm saying? It's the difference between a, a convict and an inmate. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Right. I was a dumb inmate, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's like I didn't catch on to none of this shit till it was time to be gone. But a convict is laid back. And he sit there and he observe shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He don't just jump in the shit. But a convict will, will do shit so smooth. They talk about peppermints on your bed. It's real. Yeah. 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 You, you eat that motherfucker. On your bed, see yeah. You eat. yeah. If you eat that bitch, it mean you sweet on it. You know what I'm saying? Now some men try to prove their point. They try to, you know, have to do some shit like they want to fight. So what, what? What you supposed to do if you square business nigga? You come in your cell. You just get there. If somebody leaves some zoos on your bed. You, so you you know the reason they leaving it there. Yeah, what you supposed to do? What you supposed to do? Actually, it's just like in other They can playing games with you like that. Mm -hmm. You really supposed to go ahead and attack the motherfucker who did it. Yeah. Or call out everybody. Yeah. But I ain't about to do that shit. So what you supposed to do? 
So what you, they did that to you? Yeah, I'm not about to do that shit. I just sat on my motherfucking bed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck that. I'm not. Look, everybody in my cell was eating that bitch. Did you eat it? Fuck no. So you didn't eat it? No, man. I, man, I look, bro. <laughs> shit, the way shit is in there, if a motherfucker give you something, loan you something, or something like that, I'll tell you two for one or three for one, if you can't pay it the way to back, the way he gave it to you, they gonna get it out your ass. That's how they right. tell you. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't want to do back, you got your ass, you might want to pay the motherfucker. It's real, bro. But for to be out here in this town right here, <laughs> you wouldn't expect this shit to be going on, bro. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. there's a lot of shit that goes on in there, bro. The people really don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't guilty. Right. Everybody ain't guilty. But when you throw a motherfucker in the lines then like that, then, man, they gonna eat you up alive. Yeah. They gonna eat you up alive. And bro, I always just think I'm because I. I wasn't no killer or no real big time dope dealer seller or shit yeah. like that. That shit when it hit me. But to go through that shit, bro, I wouldn't wish that on nobody. <laughs> but they, the kids today, I try to put it to them like real shit. Once you in there, you in there. So your first time, your first time is your last time right. today. Right. Today, that's how they, that's how dumb they are. They don't realize that their first bad decision they make could be their last time. Because once they throw you away, you throw it away. And, and, and we want y'all to know too, this is what we do these type of videos for too. It's, it's not just to glorify a prison, but it's to inspire these youngsters to hear these stories, to say that they don't want to go through that. Because that's, that's, that's the real. That's how it's going down. And, and, bro, that's made not tell everybody to go on my YouTube page and, and check them out. Say, bro, my story is floating around yeah. all over. But, like I say, in the right hands, they'll save people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they all based on truth. Yeah, they definitely caught my attention. They'll save people. And that's what I really, uh, you know what I'm saying? Say, bro, it's a lot of kids going, a lot of males. It ain't females. It's a lot of young males don't realize the opportunities they have. Yeah. You know? They don't realize the, the, the choices they, they can make today could really be better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like now they don't think. All they do is react. And the biggest problem it is with these motherfuckers, the males trying to impress the other males. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, you know, I, I got a pair of jars, you got a pair of jars, I want my red. You want to, you know, I'm just doing, I ain't doing it for the motherfucking, right. you know what I'm saying? Not the depth, not the female deputy, you know what I'm saying? But even with the deputies, I, I, I had, you can have a fail with some of the females. Yeah. You know, I just saw a lot of shit, bro, but. My main goal is just to try to get them bitches out there yeah. to the right people. Most, most, most definitely, bro. Now, you said you lost over 100 something fights. Did, <laughs> did you win in a fight? Did you sleep your one in there? I'm going to tell you the honest truth, and you might not believe it. The only fight I ever won was when I was checking out the lines. <laughs> Well, when you was getting yeah, when I was getting out, when I was getting free, going to another place. I ain't never won no fucking fight in there, bro. Real shit. Real <laughs> shit, man. Say, bro, it ain't leading me to lie. Hey, bro, like I say, Fighting was my thing. I always fuck with women. You know what I'm saying? See, I hung around killers and drug dealers and cats. I ain't ever had to pick up my fucking head. So you left there one and you left there one and one fifty. <laughs> Say, bro, the time, the whole time I've been fighting, I, I got to the point where it, it eased up off me though. Real shit. Right. You know, it eased up off. Even with like in hunts, when I got a chance to go to hunts. Mm hmm. Everything changed then. So hunts a different different ball game from oh. that. So it's better or worse? You could live. You can live in hunts. Because it's it's a respect in there. It's a respect right. thing. It's boundaries. You know, I, I ain't never been in Angola, but a lot of inmates come from Angola to hunts. So see, the hunts is the big, like, big thing. Hunts is a satellite camp. Hump is the hunts is the main prison that gives you the time, calculate your time from right. any prison. Hunts is the is the heartbeat of a lot of prisons. So what I'm thinking, the hunts the difference is hunts in that bad. So is Baton Rouge prison more of Baton Rouge got people there, and hunts is more of like hunts? guys from everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah, hunts from everywhere. Now Baton Rouge got people that get caught up, you know, on drugs and shit, getting caught up, you know, charges and shit, mm -hmm. and they got them in there, they ain't bond and all that shit like that. But like time wise, mm -hmm. nah, they send them bitches down. You know, they go to hunt, and uh, and hunts is you can live, you know. It's a lot of work calls, right. shit. It ain't like you go lay in no beds and, and just sleep or none of that shit. Right. You go pay your way to stay in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? 
But how many prisons you been to? How many prisons I say I I might have been seen like by eight, like eight camps, eight camps. And what was the worst one? Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge Pass. Man, I don't give a fuck. Man, you hear people talking about OPP. Fuck OPP. I ain't saying no disrespect, yeah, but this what I'm telling you. You have to understand how serious this bitch is. Oh, yeah, yeah. This yeah. bitch is, bro, look. <laughs> There's a lot of untold stories about this bitch, you yeah. heard? There's a lot of bodies they define in this. For the say it's just East Baton Rouge Parish Prison. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I never tell nobody, I don't brag on who's the best prison in the world, but I'm telling you who the worst one is. <laughs> now, break, break down Baton Rouge Prison to me, like from, from, uh, how it look when you get there, how it operates in there. Check like this out. When, when, when you first come through the gates, Sadler, they call it Sadler Port. Okay. It's Sadler Port. Sadler Port is the back way to come through that bitch, and they got a door. They call it the safe door, and they open up the door and the door. Now, this part here brings you into the booking, the back way. It's the booking. It's where you get in the, the waiting cells, the hallway, so they can process you, okay. get your finger up. This part could be entertaining too if you never been in that bitch like that. Right. Because you walking in that bitch shit, that shit. You hear motherfuckers in there, God, 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 you know, there's a fuck God all, you know. Fuck you right here in front of all these fucking police that's bringing people in. Yeah. But you hear motherfuckers, deputy, deputy, and it gets scary because the fear start coming out you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never been in this bitch before. You know what I'm saying? It's the fear coming out. And the fear was coming out of me just like that too. You know, I'm looking at the motherfucking fingerprint my my finger and I'm pitching me in that with that motherfucker there at the same time. And so I'm trying to figure out how to get to go on this side with the quad. Right. And by the time he finished painting my third quad, this side here, I'm like, deputy, deputy, get him, got one. I'm like, well, where in the fuck is I'm going to fit in it? But, and, it's when they process and everything, you might have a sleep, a thousand motherfuckers sleeping in one big old thing. And they all on the floor, they throw matches in there to you. And you sleeping on the floor next to a motherfucker you don't know. He's snoring, he's staying. You know what I'm saying? The dude's yeah. shitting over there. I ain't no hiding, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Motherfuckers fighting over the cell phone, over the um, phones to call out homes to try to tell people they got born. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to fit in in this bitch, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I'm thinking I'm not a bad guy like these dudes in this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But me not knowing that everybody in this bitch not like that. Right. You know, man, I, 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 I was hearing dudes telling me, say, man, I listen to some dudes talking about, man, I sure hope we go to the new prison. <laughs> I sure hope we go to the new prison. So I'm trying to figure out what it is between the new prison that make this bitch so separate, you know, so smart that make you don't want to go to the old right, prison. Yeah, yeah. What make you want to go north, south, and east, and west? Yeah. So I build my nuts up and go ask these guys. Yeah. So you don't use the words I ain't never used. Say, what it was saying? Why everybody want to go to the to new prison? And this what the fuck this dude said. He said, nah, if we go to the new prison, they watch us and we safe and they protect us and shit like that. I'm looking at the God, 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 I want to go to the new fucking prison. The new prison. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? And they got a little dude coming in here a list and when he came in the bitch with a list and he had 20 people he called for the new prison and he had 20 people he called for the old prison and when, by the time he got to the 19 name on for the new prison I noticed he didn't call my name so I'm like oh shit shit about to go bad yeah so he called his old nerd ass motherfucker he's going to the new prison and I said what that mean dude said you going with us to the old prison it's just weird how the dude that was going to the old prison looked different they had tattoos in their face yeah. and shit they looked in more meaner you know, and that scared me. You know, so God said, come on in here, y'all follow me to this old prison. You know what I'm saying? We had a line going to the old prison. I knew it was home because that bitch ain't had no more, like you couldn't see the, the, the clouds or nothing. Right. Nothing. And we walking outside to the gate. And as we go into the gate, they got this dude talking about he got my sack. He talking about that's his. He'll find out what that, I'll find out what that mean on the tip. Yeah. I'm like, what you mean you got my sack? My sack? That's my sack. He's like, now just keep walking. So we keep walking and shit like that. The guard said, come on in down here and bring your ass to this thing. So he brought us to this thing. And then, man, I looked at it. The old prison told the fuck up. That's what I'm telling you about. It's raggedy. It's a motherfucker. It's like death sentence, bro. And when you open, when they open up that bitch dead the door, it smells funny. It, it looks different. You know what I'm saying? The guards look weak. Yeah. Like they can't save you. You know what I'm saying? And I felt what that dude was saying. If I go to the new prison, they gonna protect us and watch us. Yeah. So man, from that day on, my first day in that bitch, being in that old prison, my whole objective was to get to that new prison. Just to get the fuck out of that yeah. bitch. Because I'd have been all through the old prison. Yeah. Yeah. From, I'm just got A to Z in that bitch. <laughs> I'd have been all through it.
Damn. I've been out through it though. So, what was your feeling the first time you went to the Bad Rouge prison? Like, did you know what it was hitting for before you got there? Or nah. You pumped everything out when you got there. See, what I knew what it was hitting for before I got there didn't hit me until I got there. See, because I heard people talk about East Baton Rouge Parish Prison. Mm -hmm. I always heard, it. and the stories I got was all they would do is beat your ass and they stab you and they got shanks in that shit. Yeah. And what really opened my eyes up when I went there, it really did do that shit. Yeah. So, yeah, my very first day in that bitch, brother, to be honest, I was scared because I knew I wasn't going home that night, that day. I knew I had to be in there. God, yeah, I knew I had to be in there. Man, it's a many times. I, like I said, it's a many times. I, I, I started to figure out a way how to get off lines. You know what I'm saying? I started to figure out a way how to check out. Because you, you know how you have something in your heart let you know when something about to go bad or the chill or some shit like that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Red call is popular in them jails. <laughs> it's popular. Yeah. For the love of God, I don't understand why motherfuckers niggas want to fight each other constantly for no reason. You know what I'm saying? But... Every time they holler that word red call, my heart just gets to drop it. Because if you don't come out the city, they're gonna come in there and get yeah, you anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Your time. Yeah. But it's like being a Nick shaded in the fucking game. And you know what I'm saying? Beat your ass to death till you say you want it. <laughs> you ought to want it in or you want it out. And then you got some dude, but I done seen call off the dude. So that's enough. Yeah. I'm like, where in the fuck you been at? I needed you all this time. Man. You ain't yeah, seen yeah, me getting yeah. my ass whooped. Yeah, you covered this and this and that. I'm trying to take